friends, it's Nia. Welcome to Life with Nia. Happy Friday. It is time for Friday Night Lights. There are a lot of hauls, so let's do a few things real quick first. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I have like 10 things. So you need to pause for the cause. Get yourself a snack and a drink. Then come back and settle in for some Friday Night Light hauls. Now, thing two is that I might have counted wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe eleven things. Anyways, um, good grief. Okay, so I have all these extras, right? I have all these extras, um, and they gotta go. And I'm trying real hard to release them <laughs> and throwing them in the trash is hard for me. So they may be perfect for you. If you'd like some extras, let me know. I probably will put like maybe 25 sheets in, a, in this envelope. And then I'm going to put some other stuff in this envelope because at, clearly you see I have 8 million hauls. Um, I have a problem buying things that I never use. So I got some things that I need to de-stash and I'm going to let go. I'm only asking you to cover the shipping, which is about $10 um, for this priority mail envelope. I'm going to stuff it with all the goods. Let me make sure I can put stuff that's bulky in here because they be trying to, I might have to use the other one, but same price. Um, but yes, I will send you out. Some of these are not even used, y'all. Like, the, the whole sheet might even be there. So, I will send you out some extras. Let me know. I probably have enough to do, like, maybe five or six of them. Um, just post down below in the comments. Karen, I see you. I'm going to message you. Um, and I said I was going to put that in the Facebook group, and I never got to it this week. Because it's been a busy week. It's been busy. So, that was thing two. So, thing one is get your snack and your drink. Thing two is I've got this excess stuff that I'm releasing out into the planner for the world. Thing three is why are all the shops having sales back to back to back? Like, I don't have any money left. I need them to leave me alone. Um... Did they just have a sale last weekend? <laughs> like, what is happening? Also, you need to ship my stuff before you have another sale. That's just like, I, I need you to ship my stuff. Now, I did get that, those two orders from August. They finally arrived. But now I got two from September, or three or four from September that are out there. Um, Early September, like the first. So, yeah, there's that. And, you know, I just ordered something else today. I couldn't help myself because these things that they're coming out with are gorgeous and I don't have a single thing to show for winter. I can't like creator's block right before planner sesh box time and then it just like all comes together. So the pins came today and that sort of motivated me. But anyways, so let's get into these hauls. Um, I need them to stop releasing the things though seriously because... It's going to keep looking like this. If they start shipping, it's going to keep looking like this where I've got like a dozen hauls. Anyway, I ordered from Planner Kate. I don't know what Planner Kate was doing. Planner Kate had a maybe a last chance sale or something like that. So I picked up a couple more of her discs because I like, even though they're plastic, they are... A really good quality heavy duty so the largest one that she has I picked up a few they're also very inexpensive they're like maybe four dollars um, so and then I had what is it 20% off um, but I also I also picked up I think that might be order 12 I didn't count that one. <laughs> let's count them all together here I also picked up some other things um, that were, I believe everything that I, I did was last chance. So, Planner Kate, 
There is your info. Um, all, always you get freebies. So here are the freebies. And okay, so I I got these because this may not have been a last call thing. Let me come back to that last. There's another freebie. That's a cute little water tracker. Okay, so the quotes are going away, which makes me sad because I love the planner plate cake quotes. I probably could have should have got more of them. I think they were like less than two dollars each because they were like fifty percent off and then the twenty percent on top of that, and so they were only. I think they're only normally four dollars so they were like maybe a dollar fifty a dollar seventy something like that so i picked up follow your dreams kindness changes everything allergic to mondays stay humble work hard be kind and i picked up a few of these different uh week at a glance sheets i this is my favorite one where it's set up this way um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and a notes section. Um, I picked up a bunch of this one in this black and white because I did not realize it was going to have orange here. I think it's Halloween or something. Um, picked up this one. Picked up some assorted boxes for like when I need an appointment label in just different colors to go with my spread. I like to use these for my grocery list and for like that sixth, or I guess there's seven days in the week for that seventh box. Um, since most of the A5 Daily Duo kits only come with six boxes, um, I did two of this one because it has the gray and the black. But I also did like this yellow, orange, green, and this blue. Okay, and then I... Here's, um, well, oh, this was an accident. I picked this up in 7 by 9 I don't use a 7 by 9 I'm going to have to find a way to repurpose this. I like this one, too, with, uh, the week at, the week at a glance. And I like the to-do list. I don't care for the habits. I could just, like, if you could make the to-do list longer, that would be better so I usually cover that up but the 7 by 9 is entirely too big so that was an error um some additional boxes and like blue and gray to use um just as a neutral so I got that then I picked up just I picked up a kit an A5 Daily Duo this is her I think new format it's got your seven headers they look smaller. Let's compare. Um, let's see if I have a planner Kate. We can here. Okay, so this is a planner Kate. Oh, they may be about the same size. So they're, yeah, they're the same size, but she's added in five, six, four, Seven, seven washi strips. Now, I don't need these. I told, do y'all need the washi strips? Let me know. Because I'm thinking about reformatting my A5 Daily Duo sheets. But I don't need these washi strips. Um, new, I don't know if this is a new font or not. I haven't bought any Planner Kit Kate A5 Daily Duos in a while. But I do like this font. It's cute. Um... So that's the new format on the first page. I don't remember. I think each of these is, is separate, if I recall correctly. So while I'm here filming, PD is going to tear up the house. I had just fed him and he was doing so well. And now he's in here tearing stuff up. Okay, so yes, each of these bottom boxes, a set of two, is its own thing now so you no longer get six you have to get them individually so I picked up two a set of each of what to match the headers I feel like now you have to do extra work as well and figure out which which matches what um but also as a shop owner from a shop owner perspective that's probably a wise way to do it um <clears throat> and then they are 
taller to compensate for the new A5 Daily Duo layout, which has more space. Now, I tried this. Hi, Pete. What's you doing? Pete says hi. I think I actually took it all out and threw it in the trash. Did I? Did I throw it in the trash? Here it is. See, so I did it. I don't love it. I wish they'd made the to-do list longer. A longer to-do list would have been a better option. So I'm still playing around with this and trying to decide what I want to do if I want to change my format for 2025. But I kind of wanted to see like what Planner Kate's look like. For inspiration. Um, okay, so that is what I picked up over at Connor Kate. And let's move all of these things. Um, next up, I have an order from Rose Colored Days. Petey, stop it! Yeah, I'm fussing at him, y'all. Okay, so, Rose Colored Days. I got a November calendar as a freebie. I got Jerrica's sheet as a freebie, and that is gold. Um, I'm always on the hunt for day dots, so I picked up a couple in silver. I have a really good stash of all the other colors, but I needed some silver. Um, I picked up these financial icons. So we've got a couple of different options on here. Money, a, like writing a check, a paid, an ATM, a piggy bank, and a card. I did that in gold and silver. Picked up meal icons in gold, silver, and rose gold. And then I picked up the washi that you can tear, terrible washi, in the vintage script. This is rose gold. This is really pretty. Um, gold and silver. Did I do two of rose gold? No. Rose, um, rose colored days has like lots and lots of um, foil colors. I don't have a receipt. So this is looking like, I don't know what it is. It is a, like a mulberry or a burgundy. So I selected some color, but that's really pretty. That's perfect for fall. Now, once again, I need to know where the washi paper can be found at because I need to bring it to my own shop. And this is the one on the clear paper. So terrible washi. I also picked up this like orange newspaper, um, which I think is a really pretty color for fall. Picked up the chunky sweater in the like gray and beige and grid in gray and brown. All on terrible washi that you can tear. Terrible washi. Um, not terrible quality. Terrible as in tear. So that is rose. Rose colored days. D-A-Z-E. All right. Next up, I've got to make sure I don't accidentally put any of my haul stuff in my D-stash pile. Because it could happen. Next, we have an order from Simply Gilded. Y'all, I have not ordered from Simply Gilded. I think it was almost a year. So, I saw something that was cute. And I decided that I needed it. And I actually paid attention 
and was able to order before it sold out. I don't know how I feel about these boxes because I can't get the stuff out of here. And the box is stuffed with stuff. This is very interesting. Okay, so freebie sheet. It's cute for like Halloween time. A little bow. Okay, so this is the washi that I picked up, which is the Poet Society. I think that's what it's called. Check and see. Typewriter. Secrets unlocked. Typewriter. Secrets unlocked. Both of which are 15 millimeter. The typewriter is holographic black foil. Secrets unlocked is light gold foil. Music notes in a six millimeter with light gold foil. This was part of a um, set. There was a fourth one I chose. The set was sold out, but I chose not to get the fourth one. Um, and I, I can't even tell you what it was. I want to say it was books. But I really like these. I love the, it's again, some vintage writing. I love that. And the typewriter. I also picked up... The Poetry 101 Deco Sheet, which is um, holographic black foil on washi paper. And I picked up the Lux Sticker Kit, also in black holographic foil. This is the Poetry 101 don't use simply I have a lot of simply gilded stickers I don't use them too often um they are on a like a vinyl sticker sticker paper and I don't find it there there are some pins that work well but I just don't find it the easiest to write on and they're really pretty so it's hard to use but I love this the little poetry society is so cute and I love the neutral aesthetic I love the writing um this is right up my alley I love the music notes, so like everything about this is cute. And we have some boxes and our day dots, which simply is another one that does hearts. If I could just get some good old circles. I don't like everything all heart and cutesy. Give me some circles. I need some circles in my life. Okay, so that is what I picked up from Simply Gilded. Um, there are, it looks like, shh, there were some journaling cards included. So let me show you those as well. Okay, so we have this uh, Zodiac calendar. And a poet, poetry society journal card. Okay, so that is what I picked up from Simply Gilded. Also got in an order from um, B Goods Lettering. This is my Wax Seal Club order. This comes every other month. Um, so let's see what is in here. If you got a planner sesh box for fall, it included a wax seal stamp and wax. Have you made any wax seals? Let me know. All right, so here is our stamp, which is like a foliage design. Let's see, it doesn't have a name per se, but. You can see the leaves in there. And we've got three glue sticks, which you can use um, to make clear wax seals as well. And then we have, ooh, we got four colors this time. So we have white, black, gold, and a really cute blue. 
And then we have paper. The paper can be used with your clear glue sticks and you can see through the glue stick and use the paper as a design. So that's fun. Let's see what our paper options are. And you can use like, you can cut these out with a round. This is like a fabric paper. They're all very, um, these are florals and what do you call that? Where it's, um, I can't think of the name. They're very intricate detail papers. Designs. This has like a peacock on there. So that looks fun. And they all are very fall esque paper as well. Um, I don't know, this is like, I'm not sure what this is made out of. I don't think it would tear at all. Um, but if you have a punch, you can see that word. There's a ton. She included a ton of paper in here. If you have a punch, that would work wonderfully. Um, but it's got like a fabric-y feel to it. And it may be sticky on one side. Now, the Wax Seal Club generally just comes with a no i don't think it's sticky generally just comes with your stamp and wax your first time she will send you a stamp with a handle after that you just get the, the stamp head which is interchangeable um so we got a lot of little extra goodies this time we've got wax and we've got glue and we've got paper in addition to our stamp, which looks like a bit of a larger stamp than the normal. Generally, they're about one inch. That one looks like it's about 1.25. So that is fun. That one is about 1.25, so that will be fun to make some wax seals. Okay, so that is B Goods Lettering. You can find her on Instagram at, at bgoods.lettering um, and bgoodslettering.com on the good old internet. Next up, let me share with y'all what I, I got with my shop points. So if you've been here for a minute, you know I had some shop points that were going to expire. And I use them to buy a Stanley, which is not my thing. I've actually used that little silly cup once. And I put my gold mine and cocoa straw topper on there. And that was the first time I used that as well. And proceeded to promptly lose it. It was the Peyton one. But then when I was walking back to the garage to my car, I found it. So now all the things have been put away because I don't want to use them. This is why I don't use my things because I don't want to lose them, hurt them, break them. <laughs> it's all part of the vicious cycle, y'all. Anyways, so th I had some points that were getting ready to expire again. I got some socks for free. I have been sharing that my feet hurt. So these are from Via Socks. Via Socks makes compression socks and they also make diabetic socks. I do not have diabetes, um, but the, the diabetic socks are, um, they're cushioned on the bottom. I, I tend to walk around in socks all day when I'm at home. Um, so I thought these would be comfy and they may have a little bit of light compression to them as well. Um, but I like like ankle socks. That's what I have on right now. I usually get the ones that are from uh, Under Armour. So I love Snoopy, my absolute favorite. So I got the Snoopy and the Peanuts Gang because ain't nobody going to see these socks um, unless I want you to. So we got Charlie Brown, Snoopy, Sally, and Woodstock. So I, I used my um, shop points. If you shop on the shop app, you earn points. Um, 
I'm not thinking about them points. I'm trying to get all the stickers, but I'm earning <laughs> points and um, I don't like anything to go to waste. So these socks cost me nothing, zero, not shipping, not a single dime. They were free um, using my shop points. So highly recommend you use the shop app if you don't already, um, just depending on where you're shopping at. But pick these up. The company name is Via Socks. V-I-A-S-O-X. And I believe they are at, yeah, viasocks.com. And they have their little peanuts collab. There's some other peanut stuff, but pick those up. Um, okay. Next up. We have an order from Sadie's Stickers. Sadie's Stickers is one of the companies that will not leave me alone. So, I don't even know what this order is. Oh, this has the plaid kit and the blue kit. Okay, so, we have our freebie. Let's start over here. Um, let's see, I did Coco Lux Designs freebie this time. I wanted this, I can't get this out of here. I wanted these frames to go around my boxes and stuff. And I, I thought the grid would be cute. And there's days of the week on here. So Coco, Coco 20 is how you get that freebie. Okay, so this, there were, every week she comes out with like two, two new kits. I wish she again stopped, but... Here we are. This blue, y'all know it had me at blue. And then it's foiled on top of that. I'm not even a floral person. And like, how do you say no to that? Look at that silver foil. Mm -mm -mm. That has some winter goodness to it. It's fall, but it's giving me winter vibes. Perfect transition. So that is the, this is the floral edges sheet. Um, I think I did everything on washi paper. This is the layered sheet. So she's layered some things for you. And this is the borders. Got some pumpkins in there. Look at that foil. So like there's writing here. Um, even like the steam coming up on the coffee is foiled. I love the attention to detail. We have seams. And deco. Cute little puppy. Love the swing too. And then I did the kit, so Autumn State of Mind. Now, I don't love the blue and the peachy pink. Uh, that's not my thing. If it had been more beige, I would have preferred that, but it's still pretty. We've got our boxes. And layering, deco, torn corners. And then our washi. Day of the week. There's, I really like the blue lace. So this is all the blue kit. Um, stick kit, deco kit. Then there is the blue sampler. So I love these leaves. I did this in gold and probably silver to match the kit. But gold because it looks like I did it in every color. So I did it in gold and silver. <laughs> In rose gold and in hollow. Because I got things that it can go with. Just, I don't got to explain nothing to y'all. Listen. <laughs> got to explain nothing to y'all. I needed all the things. That's the explanation. Um, okay, then the other kit is... I didn't get the kit on the other one. I got some pieces. So, it is called plaid. I got the um, alcohol ink swatches. 
nice neutral. And then I got the deco sheet. I'm trying to figure out how I feel about plaid, to be honest with you. I love the swing and the umbrella, though. Um, I'm not a big plaid person. Having said that, I did get the sampler again in rose gold, which matches the foiling on here, um, on the deco and stuff. And then I did it in gold. See, I don't, I don't love these rope chain thingies, but I really love the musical notes and the writing. And I kind of like these little plaid watchy thingies. So, um, I did the edges and the deco, or actually this is the layering deco. Um, and these are foiled with rose gold. So I felt like the rose gold would go nice with that when I'm putting together whatever I'm putting together. I'll probably use these for like more of journaling because I did not do a kit. And then I picked up the torn paper in gold. Rose gold and hollow. And these are actually like torn paper sticker shapes. Then she had like this tea and coffee um, collection, a foil collection. So I picked up, these are the tea journal scraps in gold, silver, rose gold. And then these are the coffee ones in the same gold, silver, and rose gold. She had coffee shop signs, and I also got these in gold, silver, and rose gold. I wish that these were not on transparent paper. I'm pretty sure. Let's test it out. Pretty sure that a uni pen or a what's the other one? Microperm would work fine. But I would love to have had these on just the transparent, or not, on, not the transparent, but the premium matte. So, okay, that's fine. Here I am, worried about nothing. Okay, so uni pen, uni pen works great on the. What is this paper? What's this transparent paper? So I did these in all four: gold, rose gold, silver, and hollow. And believe it or not, that is everything from Sadie's. Um, oh, for now, I think I have like two orders outstanding. Maybe three. Um, be sure to come back here this weekend for a sticker storage organization. Next up, um, this came today and I this is from Erin Condren. I'm pretty sure that this is a rose gold gift, but I did not think that I was rose gold. I ain't been fooling with them like that. At least I didn't think I was. I have not ordered anything from them. I know that much. So it has to be a rose gold gift. Um, so we have a set of six cards and envelopes. And here is the card. It's like a postcard. It's not, a, it's not an open card. It's a post, like a cardstock card. Um, so you can write here. And then that's the back. It's got the little Erin Condren logo down there. Now, this is a set of dual tip markers, six pack, royal blue, marigold, dark orange, magenta, salmon, and purple. Now, I said this salmon, but if it was the fish, it would be salmon. Anybody else? Anybody else do that? Salmon for the color? fish or salmon. Anyways, um, so I believe if you can, uh, these are dual tips. So let's test it out. So this is, uh, magenta. 
too. I like those. Now, this is completely unnecessary for this to be this thick. That would make a good, like if you're trying to highlight something. I was expecting a skinnier um, on the other end. These are cute. I like these. Oh, thanks, EC. I guess I'm still rose gold. I've got to order my 2025 monthly planner for my budget. Um, comes with some little rose gold seals. And these, like, red colored envelopes. So, um, nice little surprise in the mail today from Erin Cochran. Okay. This is a quick one. Um, I am still using that cloth and paper code from the Aspeed box to pick up a leave-in conditioner from Potion Studio. And here's a little code for you as well. Um, so I picked up a few bottles of these. As our weather starts to cool off, I can go back to my Sunny and Denby leave-in conditioner, but Sunny and Denby's leave-in conditioner is natural and it has to be refrigerated, and it does not do well sitting on a UPS truck for seven days trying to get here in our 100 degree weather. Um, so I cannot order it during the summer. If I have it stocked up and in my fridge, it's fine. So I've ordered a bunch last year, Black Friday, and then when I ran out, I always go back to the Potion Studio. Those are the two leave-in conditioners that my hair seems to really like and um, respond to well. So um, I picked up a few more of these which will carry me through until our weather cools off and I can shop Sunny and Denby for Black Friday again. So, got that. I actually shop Sunny and Denby today too because they dropped some stuff. Like I said, I need everybody to leave me alone. Leave me alone. Don't drop nothing else. Give me like 30 days to recover or something. Anyway, Panda Bird Designs. I don't, I don't even remember this, but apparently I, <laughs> this was probably I circled back because they're, I missed these in the order type of thing because it's not a big order. It's like six things. Um, so I picked up the sampler, which I had in my last order, but not in rose gold. So I picked it up in rose gold. This is the fall sampler. So it has that plaid. So you take this plaid. Hold on, let me show y'all something. Because I did this earlier today. I, today, ordered something from the Pretty Pink Co. Pretty Pink Co. had a nutcracker thing. And Saucy Stickers had a nutcracker thing. They're completely different. The Saucy Stickers one was rose gold. I did rose gold. I think I got to pick my color. I may not. No, yeah, I think so. See, you can pick your color. Pretty Pink Co. had a sampler sheet, so like one of these type of sheets. So I did their sampler nutcracker in the rose gold to go with the saucy sticker stuff. You gotta put it all together, y'all. You gotta be on you gotta be on your A game. I had to give me a piece of paper out and make notes because it was really getting real tricky there. Anyways, so you have this Panda Bird Designs plaid, right? And then we have this plaid, and they're rose gold match and then we have this like plaid um, deco sheet and so like I could use this with these swatches and do a whole weekly spread because I've got day of the weeks here can y'all see the vision usually not a visionary person, but this could all come together. And it's like the vision is, is happening. Just saying, just saying. So, anyways, Panda Designs. Got this. Um, that was probably not the reason I got it, but that works. <laughs> I don't know what the reason was. By the time the stuff gets to me, the reason is fleeting. This was probably a Cassie was showing something purchase um 
So these little plaid thingies are cute for in the background. So this one, um, this one is just black. And then I did gold, silver, and rose gold. And then um, I always pick up now the dainty dot corners and all the colors in every order just so that I have them. Um, because I use about half a page or so every spread. And I like these because they have the little sides. This size is also good for the Hobonichi. So pick those up in gold, rose gold, and silver. Also picked up this sheet called That Girl. And it's like a black and white sketch aesthetic. And then I used Cassie's freebie and Cassie's code. And got this little um, freebie sheet as well. And you can follow her over at Sweet Like Honey Plans. Sweet Like Honey dot plans. Um, be forewarned, you will be influenced. You will be influenced. All she does is share. But it's like... Oh, yeah, I need that when she shares. Her spreads are so beautiful, y'all. Okay, next up is the Pretty Pink Co. And this is what I have been waiting for from August. So, um, this is, I think, the end. This is the last of all the things. This was a, I love, I love, love, love these vellum pockets. Love them. This was like, I think the, the, um, I think, I don't know. It's just on there today, but I don't know. I think this is all of the things that were going away for summer. Um, so I needed all the summer things. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to go back and back plan any summer, but... Um, if not, this all is all good for next year. So a lot of this is summer inspired, but look at these little coffee cups. Oh, they're so cute. So these are gold foil, got gold palm trees. I, I, oh, she does not put a, she doesn't put a receipt in. I, I, I'm pretty sure that I, in one of these orders did regular gold, white gold, because I wanted to compare. So I'm going to go look online and see what I did. Um, because I just don't see the difference. And so I really wanted to compare it and see. Anyway, um, hollow, silver, and gold. This is the beach vacation. Love that. That's a little tropical dainties in gold and hollow. Um... This is a shop freebie for fall, and that's gold foiled. Textbook snippets in gold and silver. Palm tree island in gold. I did some, uh, uh, these are the frames in the dash dot. And I did golden hollow. And then this one is in the double dash line. And now see, I think this is an oops. These are both gold. I don't know, I may have done. No, no, they're not. It's not an oops. I may have done. Maybe this is. No, they look the same to me. If one is light gold. I certainly can't tell. Okay, we did some dainty garlands. These are in rose gold. I did the little coffee stain with the script in gold and rose gold. Coffee um, quotes. Did these in gold and rose gold. Celebration in gold. Beach view in gold. Flower cart in rose gold. Dainty garlands in silver. Beach view in hollow. Nautical in gold and in hollow. Y'all see where I was waiting? 
flower carts. These are the large ones. And now see, this looks different. This must be, oh, I don't know. That looks like that looks different too. Let me go back to this gold over here that was looking brighter. Silver, no. Oh, now I see the difference. Okay, so these are, these palm trees are gold. I don't know if this shows on camera. This flower cart is not the same color of gold, but it is gold. So these must be, this must be the light gold. Do y'all see the difference? What is your preference? Light gold or regular gold? I just always ordered gold because I could tell the difference. This gives more of a silvery feel of light gold to me. It's not quite silver, but it's like, it's like a little light. I, I can see the light part. Anyways, um, we did these book quotes and gold and rose gold. These beach views, gold and hollow. These streamer garland washies, gold and rose gold. And here is a hollow. Did the uh, tropical washi in gold. The under the sea. The gold, hollow, and then the summer in the city in gold and rose gold. And we did the deco sampler summer stories. This one is gold. This one is hollow. There is something about hollow that is, gives a summery feel to me. I did the Summer Stories, which is a kit that I previously bought. I went ahead and went back and got all the little floral pieces. Um, I'm not use that spread or that sticker kit. And then Wintry Night. This is journaling page two. I don't remember. I don't remember if I bought the kit or not. And then these are the scenes. Um, and then this is the summer story scenes. And, okay. Then I got these torn paper strips in cream. Which in person looks a little bit more pinky than beige. Online it looks a little bit more beige. Um, and then I did the cream for the book page paint swatches. So it's got text in there. Which is super cute. So, there's four other sheets, but they kind of go with this kit, which I think, hands down, is my favorite, favorite, favorite for fall. It's called Rainy Day, and this dark blue, y'all, is just swoon-worthy. I love the blue and the brown together. Like, I, I just... I almost want to buy it again. I may have actually already done that. I don't remember. But oh, the blue and the brown with the gold foil is just beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Chef's kiss. Love it. Love, 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 love. love. Mm -mm -mm. So good. does not do it justice. This is so pretty. That blue is just spectacular. Um, had to get two of the alcohol ink because blue, uh, blue and gray, even the brown, it's just mm -mm -mm, so good. Journaling sheet. And we did both pages of the journaling. I really like these florals too. Here is page two. And yeah, we got two of those too because we liked it so much. Actually, we got two journal kits. Oh, you know what I did? I did one in premium matte 
was the other thing. I wanted to try some things out and see what works better um, for future purchases, but I've been, I've just been having to work with it. This is transparent and premium matte. I love these sidebars. So you've got a sidebar and then you've got washi borders and then washi board like these are seam borders. Um, look at that. The building, the bridge, the skyline, all of it. So pretty. So I got two of those as well. Um, no. I think I got three. Yeah, I got three. So I got that. Then over on the deco side, now I don't know why I didn't do more deco. I got the numbers, the day of the week. I got the washi. Um, and I think this is on washi paper. Nope, it's on transparent paper. Deco. And some large scenes. I love the bridge. Love the cafe, and I love the buildings, like the little New York brownstones. Also got the Rainy Day Sampler in gold, because Pretty Pink Co. took so long to ship. I wish I had gotten it in other colors, <coughs> but this was when I was new to it and didn't know any better. Now I know, I won't make the mistake again. Okay, and then, this kit <clears throat> is a little creepy on top. <coughs> Autumn Sunset. This is really pretty. I don't love this as much as I love that blue, but it's really pretty. It's giving fall colors, like when the leaves start to change colors. Love these swatches. Um, now I don't know why I did these pumpkins. I'm not a pumpkin person. I was probably influenced into that one. More of the rainy day. Give me all the rainy day. So I did, um, the transparent and the premium. And look at the little cloud. The rain puddles, the birds. Mm -mm -mm. So cute so cute. It's, it's giving Paris vibes. I got some more pumpkins over here. I'm not sure what was going on with pumpkins, y'all. Because pumpkins are not my thing. I think I was really just going for like the sidebars and the washi. And it's a better deal in my opinion to get the sidebar that comes with the washi than to just do the sidebar by itself. So this one is Autumn Serenity. Little tree house. Um, and then I picked up a bunch of sidebars to just use on different things. So this is Fawn, Oak, and Beach. It's like the water, the sand. Um, and I did a couple of beach because I have a ton of beachy um, kits. Okay, back to rainy day. I think I, I got the whole deco kit. So we've got our bouquets. We have our washi. We have our corners and edges. Got another deco. Got another set of day of the week. And dots, which this is, these are a nice neutral that I could use these when somebody gives me hearts got our washi swatches, layered paper, our people, swatches, seams, This is washi paper. Frames and stamps. Torn paper. Then we have Forest Cottage. She's cute. These are the people. I like how she got some people instead of dolls. 
their people, corners and edges, and some doilies. That's it, y'all. That's it. That's everything. So, we've got our Pretty Pink Co. Which I need to go back and look. I, she might have combined two orders. I know that there were two, but there may, there may be three here. It may have been two orders combined, but since there's no receipt, I don't know for sure. Um, and I don't know for sure because I have like 10 hour orders outstanding with Pretty Pink Co. Anyways, Pretty Pink Co., We've got Sadie's, we've got Planner Kate, we've got Be Goods, we've got Panda Bird, Rose Colored Days. <sighs> Y'all, I'm tired. I've got my Bio Socks, my Potion Studio Leave In Conditioner, and I um, have my summit this weekend. So I'm going to, in between things, check in with y'all. Let me know if you would like one of my D-Stash envelopes um, filled up with some leftover stickers. Just paying for shipping. And um, just post that about down below and I'll reach out. And then let me know what your favorite thing is this week. I, hands down, have to say my favorite thing is the rainy day kit because that blue and that brown is just if you're a blue lover you can't not love it it's just so pretty definitely my favorite thing um and i've just been waiting for this order for what feels like forever so i'm so happy that it's finally here um i gotta figure out when i'm going to use it and I need to get all these things organized so that my little planner heart can be happy. So that's my favorite thing this week. Let me know what yours is. Be sure to hit that like button. Share this video with a friend. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you back here next time.